Russian armies at Friedland in June 1807 and by a brilliant stroke of diplomacy he persuades Alexander at a secret meeting on a raft in the middle of the freezing cold river Nyman not only to make peace but to become an ally of France for the next five years. The resulting Treaty of Tilsit in the July of 1807 Sarah Sarah Sarah, where are you going? I don't know. I haven't decided. I just know that if I have to sit and stare at that dress for a second longer, I'll vomit. <laughs> so these people just gave you a job? Just to express your opinions about things? I guess. If your face fits. And um, how's things with Megan? Ah, uh, she's history. Good. I suppose this means there's no reason why we'll see that much of you anymore. Now that you're set up and everything, now that you're happy. Einstein! Oi! Einstein! Eat shit! <laughs> <laughs> you're out later, we could have some lunch. Oh no, sorry. I've got a meeting with MD in half an hour, I've got to go back to Leeds. Listen, keep in touch, keep smiling. Definitely chicken pox, according to the doctor. Yes, yes, I'll keep her well wrapped up. No, it has not affected her appetite. No, it's very kind of you to look after her, Mum. But I will be back as soon as I can. That's all right, dear. You know I don't mind helping out. Pauline says I can take the afternoon off work if necessary. Oh, by the way... Many congratulations on your wedding anniversary. Oh, thanks. I've forgotten, to be honest. Well, not forgotten exactly, but you know what David's like. Maybe we'll do something special when we hit the big 25. Anyway... You don't want to get in bother for using the telephone, so I'll see you later, all right? Bye. Bye. You forgot, didn't they? Sorry? You're David. You forgot. Your anniversary. Oh, yes. Yes, he always forgets. Where's Virginia? I'm not entirely sure why. There's a new project we might be able to interest her in. The pigs might fly. Look, I know you think that I'm doing exactly what I said I wanted to avoid doing, but I'm not. I'm not spoiling her. Okay, I have paid off her debts and given her a nice company car, but I wanted to cheer her up and make her feel part of something. After all, I did buy you the piano and I bought Pauline the jag, and when I tell the others, I'll buy them something too. You don't have to justify yourself to me, love. Anyway. From now on, Virginia's going to earn what she gets, just like the rest of us. Hiya, kids. How are you feeling? Crap. Why? I want you to do something for me. I want you to ring me when the window cleaner comes. Seventeen more applications for the post of personal lending officer. Right. Not exactly what you'd call very exciting. 
Oh, and a nasty letter from that elderly couple whose house you repossessed last month. File it with the others. Right. Oh, and I wondered if you fancied licking ice cream off naked flesh by candlelight. Not today. I've still got this problem. David, it's been three weeks. Hasn't it, eh? Three weeks since you never turned up at my place. And we didn't do it then, if you recall. <coughs> Branch manager's office? Yes. Who's speaking, please? Hold the line, please. It's your kid's headmaster. Dreaming. Let's go back to your house. Can't. Your mum will be in. Let's go back to yours. Can't. Stupid's off school. She's got spots. Towards the shed now. No, no one else. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it's Megan. What do you want me to do now, Virginia? Virginia? Hello, yes. Hello, Mr. Hartnell. Yes. Bastards Club, just calling to inform you that your wife is shagging the window cleaner in the shed right now. Strange but true. Thank you for your time. Do have a nice day. You have not been charged anything for this call. Megan? Megan? Virginia's decided to pop in. Yeah, sorry I'm late. You didn't need me for anything, did you? What time do you call this for turning up at work? Did you know my dad's in reception? If you tell me where she is, I can go and find her. 
What's going on? What's the matter? Headmaster Rung wants to see us, both of us, now. Thank you for coming in at such short notice. Did either of you know that Sarah isn't in school at the moment? How do you mean? She walked out of her A-level history lesson at 9.30 this morning, hasn't been seen since. And it isn't the first time. And since she was in that play, since she's taken up with that Skidmore idiot from next door. David. Then there's this. A poem. Written and given to a male member of staff. These things happen, not infrequently. Rarely, however, are they quite so, um, explicit. Let's have a look. No. David. It's also sudden, that's the thing. Until very recently, she was a well-balanced, hard-working, successful member of the school. Good Lord. Is there, um, anything wrong at home? No. Like what? Anything? No way. I don't think so, is there? No, of course there isn't. The thing is, I'd like her to see the educational psychologist. She's very friendly, pops in once a month, has a chat with one or two people. Psychologist? She's a very nice lady. It's perfectly normal. Oh, no. No, 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 no. She's not having that on her school records. She's just being dozy. She's got in with a bad lot and she wants some sense drumming in. Never mind psychologist. I can drum sense in myself. You leave it to me. You don't have to make a decision right away. The answer is no. I'd urge you to think about it. Both of you. Right, we will. Thanks. I'm sorry. Are you still there? Yeah. We'll get talking. I want a running commentary. I'm not paying. There's nothing happening, I've told you. They went inside ages ago. That's all that's happened. Oh, no. I want to show you something. Your car or mine? Mine. Something happening now, Virginia. Virginia? What is it these days? One of them can't stay at university for five minutes, the other can't stop in school. Don't they think about the future? They're young. So what? Not stupid. Are they? No, I hope not. I never thought they were. Nicking off. That blasted poem. I could weep. We need to sit Sarah down and talk to her and not make too big a deal out of it. Oh, really? Like you did with Virginia, eh? Look where it's got her. Old job as an office run around. Oh, and, and you think that shouting and swearing and laying down the law at the top of your voice helps, do you? I know it's not what either is it envisaged for Virginia, but... At least it's something. What's she doing? That's a lotus. Is that how much one of them costs? Yes, it's Pauline's. Is that Pauline? Virginia drives her around in it sometimes. She lets her drive a lotus for her. Yes, well, she seems to have a lot of faith in Virginia. It seems to have taken quite a shine to her. Why? She's a bright girl. I thought you said Pauline drove a jag. Yes, yeah, she does. She, she's got a lotus as well. Maybe I've got it all wrong. What? Everything. Where do you think Sarah is? If she's not at school, where do you think she is? God knows. 
You don't have to be beautiful to turn me on. I just need your body, baby. I'm just till dawn. You don't need experience to turn me out. You just leave it all up to me. I'll show you what it's hey, all what about. Hey, what are you doing now? Bring it now, please. Bring it now, please. You don't have to be rich to be my girl. You don't. Like it. Whose is it? It's going to be a school run by an organization dedicated to offering bright girls from deprived backgrounds the sort of education they deserve. Oh, yeah. They needed premises, so the trust helped them buy this. They'll also need staff, administrative staff, as well as teaching staff. Thought you might be interested. You mean you want me to run the place? Help run the place. Sure, they'd be more than happy to find you something interesting to do, considering how much we're intending to give them. Mm, I see. Virginia, you've got to start somewhere. I prefer working at the office. But you're not working in the office. You're farting about in the oh, office. because you haven't given me anything to do. That's not true. Anything interesting. You'll work your way up. You'll find something that interests you. You'll learn, and then you'll become whatever you want to become. But it'll take time. Let's go. Virginia, you are in a very unusual situation. So is your mum. You've got to help her. You've got to be responsible. You reckon? Yes, I do. I think it's high time you buckled down and started trying to prove yourself worthy of the trust she's put in you. For her sake, if not for your own. Virginia! Move! You don't like being told what to do, do you? Oh, you notice. Virginia. No, I don't like being told what to do. I think when you've got a mother with 38 million quid in the bank, having people tell you what to do is entirely unnecessary. Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> Works wonders, they assured me in the chemists. You shove one up and it offers relief within minutes. Right. I'll give you a hand if you like. What time is Mrs. Kukowski coming in? She's not. She's cancelled. I've rescheduled for next week. So, you're free all afternoon. Boiler's playing up again. I'm so hot. I've had to take my knickers off. Is it all you ever think about? Is it? Is it all you ever think about? I only said. My daughter's bunking off school for obscene poetry and going out with a total shithead. And it's all my fault because of you. What? I haven't got piles. What? I lied. I'm sorry. You can keep the receipt. They might give you your money back. I don't understand, David. I lied. I lied. I lied the other week as well, when I never turned up at your house. It wasn't because the car had broken down. It was because of Sarah's play. I felt so useless missing it. So pathetic. I couldn't go through with... with what we got planned. Oh. I see. Well, that's all right. I don't mind. I understand. It's over, isn't it? It should never have started, and now it's over. You do know that, don't you? Don't say that, David. No, it is. I, 
I think we have to accept. Don't do that, Elaine. Not here. <coughs> Elaine, please. <laughs> Elaine. <laughs> Elaine. There is an alternative, of course. Maria, you could always go back to university and complete your course. They won't have me back. I got booted out, you know that. They're building a new science centre. Who are? At York. They need funding. They're looking for 2.8 million. I'm sure they'd have you back. 2.8 million? 1.4. We're only offering them half. You're offering them a bribe? You? No, no. They'll be sent the money anyway. Good God. Can you give us two minutes? <sighs> Nobody's going to force you to go back if it isn't what you want. But you've got to decide what it is you do want. I want to go mad. I want to spend, spend, spend. I want to shout it from the rooftops. My mother's a multi-millionaire. I want to explode laughing. I want to buy the world a Coke. I want to tell people. <sighs> yes, I mean, apart from that. You want 38 million quid, woman. Wake up and smell the coffee. Why do any of us have to do anything we don't want to do when we can do exactly what we want to do all the time, forever? Because nobody can do that, Virginia, least of all you. You haven't even got a clue what it is you do want. <sighs> Certainly you can, you can spend money and mess about and have a laugh for a few weeks, and I've been happy for you to do that, but not indefinitely, because sooner or later you'll grow sick and tired of it. It'll pall. And then you'll be just as bored and lonely as you were three weeks ago. The best thing this kind of money can do for you is create a few opportunities, which is exactly what we're trying to do here, and not just for ourselves. And I want you to be part of that. Now, I'm going home to see how Charlotte is, and you're going to decide what you're going to do to make yourself useful. Otherwise, that lotus is going back where it came from. Do you understand? You'll tell me, Dad. You do that and you see what good it does you. That woman is suffering from a serious failure of the imagination. What's the first thing you do when you win the lottery? Quit your job. What does my mother do? Go out and get one. And then insist that the rest of us do as well. Mad! Stark staring out of a flaming tree. You could make life very unpleasant for me if you wanted to, but I suppose I'm asking you not to. I knew you were never very serious. But you see, I hoped nobody looks at you twice when you get to my age and you've got a kid. Well, nobody worth having anyway. Okay. They're all married. I'm sorry. I shan't give up on you. I put too much effort in. Why don't you put in for that transfer? Because I don't want to. Shit, shit. What? What date is it? How can anyone work in a bank and not know what date it is? It's the 18th, why? Nothing. What? Nothing. What? Nothing. It's 
my wedding anniversary. that this is what I'd reduced her to. To doing that with him. You know, a window cleaner. I'd reduced her to doing something so tawdry and... And she's right. It's me. Everything has always been about me. And she's got lost in it all. Oh, I'm such a terrible, arrogant shit. No, don't say I'm not, because I am. I know I am. Ever since the boys came along, she's never been able to do what she wanted. And it's such a shame, because she's so good. When somebody gives her something better to do than cat food, I mean. together. <laughs> Maybe that was part of it. I was always on alone. You know, why can't you be more like Alison? You weren't, were you? Well, you, you must have known how I admire you. Such a lucky bastard. I hope he knows. Nice car. You gonna talk to me then? Did you know you're leaking? You are. Leaking. Oil. 
Am I? Where? Been having trouble starting? No. Open it up. So, uh, what you got to do to drive a Lois? Someone your age? Me? Nothing. Serendipity. Right place, right time. Turn it over for us, will you? I want you in that house now. And you, you little turd, sort off home. Can you speak to Phil like that? Do you know what I was today? Hey, do you? Me and your mother were in your headmaster's office. Yes, that's right. Like a couple of idiots. Why? Why? As if you didn't know. And where have you been all day, eh? Because we all know you have not been in school. You would have only without school anyway. I'm leaving. No, you bloody well are not. How are you doping out? I thought I gave you your marching orders. Come on, inside. I'm not standing out here arguing. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Well, what are you doing there? Having a bath? In. No! Get your hands off me! Off! Can I make the Child Protection League about you? Oh, yes! Come back here! I'm not having you making an exhibition of yourself! Yes, no! Mom, Mom. she's in the kitchen with Mike from next door. He's having a nervous breakdown. No, no, no. What? I tried to tell you there was something up on the phone. What's happened? Nothing. I shan't be a minute, like, excuse me. That man in there is totally crushed. <gasps> What's happened? Megan's left him. She took the boys out of... Go and watch telly. She took the boys out of school and she's taken them to her parents in Dorking. Do you know where that is? No. It's the other end of the country. Someone rang him this morning. Someone who didn't think through the consequences of their actions. Have you any idea what you've done to him? <gasps> Why are you assuming it was me? Maybe it's because you've got his phone number written on the back of your hand. Shut in the window cleaner. It's with your business. Well, don't you dare try and pretend you did it because you're some kind of champion of morality because you're not. No, you've got no idea what you did it for selfish reasons for revenge. To say no, it was me. And while you're living under my roof, I suggest you take notice of my... No. Get inside. You can't rule my life! I'm 16! I can do what I like and I can see who I like. And you're just a stupid, boring, small-minded pig! Just like all the teachers at that school, so... Shit! Didn't mean to start shouting at her. It just happens. I know. Happy wedding anniversary. That was nice. Yeah, I bought loads of stuff. I was going to cook us a meal, but then I thought, sod it. Booked a table instead at Sebastian's. Oh, down by the wharf? It's expensive, but well, we've always said we'd try it, haven't we? So. Oh, careful. Mike's in the kitchen. I told him he could sleep tonight in the spare room. <sighs> can I make you a cup of something, Mike? No, thanks. There's some brandy. Is there? Yeah, a few. Oh, yes. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry to hear about. <laughs> What's up here? No. What's up? Sarah's dad treat me like a piece of shit. Cheeky bastard. I saw him. This other woman. They were kissing. Blonde? Shorty hair looks a bit stuck up. Yeah. How come you know so much? Sarah. Hey, come in. Can I talk to you? Do what you like. Doesn't make any difference to me. I'm sorry I shouted at you. I'm even more sorry I missed your play. Wishing you how much? Doesn't matter. No, it does. It does matter. Everybody said you were so good and I missed it. Could kick myself. Doesn't matter. Are you going to forgive me then, or what? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. So what's all this about you bunking off lessons then? Eh? Sarah? Is it because of me not going to your play? No. Well, what then? I don't know. You're a very bright girl. You can't chuck it all away. I only want what's best for you. And I know I don't always show it, but that's because I'm stupid sometimes. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I am. But I'm not going to be anymore. I'm going to think more in future about how the things I say and do affect other people. Okay? You say so? I do say so. So, tomorrow, will you go back to school and stay there and get back to where you were before? I don't know. I'll have to see how I feel. Because if you did, I think the headmaster would be more than happy just to let the whole thing drop. Did he say that? About letting it drop? More or less. Yes, that's, that's what he wants. was one other thing about Phil. Are, are you sure he's your sort? I mean... What? Never mind. No, oh, come on, what? I know he isn't all bad. He can't help the way he's been brought up. Y you see, Phil can afford to mess about, because in a few years' time, he'll still be living here. He'll be working for his dad. You want to go to university, don't you? And you won't get there if you waste time now, will you? Eh? Won't say anything else. It's fine. 
to your lift home. Oh, that'd be nice. Not that there's a lot to go on for, and there's not on telly. Do you fancy a drink, then? Oh, I didn't know you imbibed. I thought your idea of a good time was stopping in, doing the ironing, and listening to the archers. Oh, no, my idea of a good time stopping in, doing the ironing, and not listening to the archers. <laughs> I tell you what I do fancy. An underdone steak and a lightly chewed bottle of champagne. Oh, it gives you terrible heartburn. <laughs> And you end up farting for England. Still, it's nice while it goes down. Sebastian's? Yes, well, I don't mind slumming it a bit. You are a very lucky man, David. You've got a very beautiful wife and a very beautiful family. And I, I don't want you to make the same mistake that I've made, ever. No, you must promise me. It's more important than... Well, than anything, isn't it? Oh, I love those boys. Oh, God, I'm going to get the loo again. I'm not paying for him. This is supposed to be a table for two. Well, what could we do? We couldn't leave him at home. He needs to be with people. Why do I bother? Why do I ever bother trying to do anything nice? It is nice. It's lovely. It's crap as usual. I'm sorry. I know I'm a common pain in the ass these days, and I don't know why. Well, I do, actually. It's work. I'm sick of it. Sick to the back teeth of it. I seem to spend my entire life upsetting people. Turning down mortgages, repossessing houses. I don't want to spend the rest of my life doing things like that. Well, no, of course not. Who would? Good evening, madam. Hello. Do they know you here? Uh, well, I I've been here a few times with Pauline, that's all. Here, she brings a secretary here. And only for business meetings, if I need to take notes. Go on. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's work. It's dragging me down. I dread going in. My heart sinks the second I walk through the door. Same bloody people, same bloody problems. I'm so hot. I've had to take my knickers off. I hate it. I hate the work, I hate the people. I didn't realise. I'd leave if I could. Tomorrow, like a shot. Really? I'll put it all behind me and start again. Well, there's nothing else I can do, is there? Someone my age, great big mortgage to pay every month. What do you do? What would you like to do, if you could choose? I don't know. Anything in the world? So now, I'm feeling a bit green about the gills. I think I'm just going to pop outside and get a bit of fresh air, as all the same to you. Right. What I'm thinking is, you see, if you're interested, perhaps I could ask Pauline if she's got something going for someone with your experience. Is it likely? Uh, I'd, I'd have to ask, but it's not impossible. Oh, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> Do you know someone? Yeah. That's her, that's Pauline. The old one? No, 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 um, the one with her back to us. That, that's Pauline's mother. It's her birthday, today I think. She said she'd be treating her. Let's go and say hello. Oh, no, no. Introduce us quickly, go on, why not? No, thank you. said it was okay to come up. Come in. Shut the door. Fancy uh, coming down to Mega Ball tomorrow? Sorry? You can get in cheap on Thursdays. And between two o'clock and three, it's happy hour. You can get two burger and chips for the price of one. I thought I ought to stop seeing you. What? <laughs> it's a good job you don't take any notice of how he says, isn't it? Do you? Sarah? 
I've got to go. Sarah, I'm thrilled to meet you. And your mother. I've heard so much about you. Uh, and a happy birthday to you, if I may. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> He's not with us. David, I thought I asked you not to bother Mrs. Farnell. Oh, just thought I'd say hello. Oh, you did right. Pull up a glass and sit down. Uh, I, d I don't think David and Alison want to spend their evening with us, not on their wedding anniversary. Mother? I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, yes. Very nice to meet you. And you. Bye. Bye. Oh, don't be like that. Especially on your mother's birthday. I think I made a good impression. I don't know. We'll have to see. I thought we were having a good time. I thought we were having a laugh. What's he said? He says we're not right for each other. You can't just finish with me because your dad clicks his fingers. Think for yourself. I am doing. I'm sorry. You're not stopping seeing me because of him. Sarah. Well, he's the right one to lecture about who's seeing who anyway. Hypocrite. What are you talking about? He's a filthy git, that's what. What do you mean? Nothing. What do you mean, Phil? What do you mean? He's shagging his secretary. <laughs> oh, my dad, don't be stupid. 